One key feature that Azure provides is Azure Managed Disk, which can be used for storing virtual machine data. Among the various types of managed disk, one of the more useful feature is the ability to create a shared disk. A shared disk allows multiple virtual machines to access the same disk simultaneously. This is especially useful for applications that require high availability and shared storage such as clustered applications or databases. Attaching a managed disk to multiple VMs allows you to either deploy new or migrate existing clustered applications to Azure. It can be very useful if you want to migrate your clustered applications from on-premises to your Azure subscription. A clustered application is used to reserve a disk for virtual machines. Based on the reservation selected by the clustered applications, each virtual machine gets the chance to read and write or use the attach disk. Shared managed disk offers shared block storage that can be accessed from multiple VMs. These are exposed as logical unit numbers. Lens are then presented to an initiator from a target. These lens look like direct attach storage or a local drive to the VM. Effectively, this means that Azure now has the equivalent of SAN storage enabling highly available clusters to use shared disk in the cloud. A shared disk can be useful for high availability applications, scale-out applications or data replication. Shared disk have general limitations that apply to all shared disk regardless of disk type. Currently, only UltraDisk, Premium SSD version 2, Premium SSD and Standard SSDs can be used as a shared disk. Shared disk can be attached to individual VM scale sets but can't be defined in the VM scale set models or automatically deployed. A shared disk can't be expanded without either deallocating all the VMs the disk is attached to or detaching the disk from all of these VMs. Write accelerator and host caching isn't supported for shared disk. In this video, we will walk you through the steps to create a shared disk using the Azure portal. Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. In the search bar at the top of the portal, type disk. Under services, select disk. To create a new disk, click on create. First, we need to assign our disk to a subscription and resource group. You can use either an existing resource group or create a new one. For this example, we will use a free VM-RC01 resource group. Now, enter a name for the disk. Select an appropriate region. We will deploy this disk in East US region. For availability zone, select no infrastructure redundancy required. Click on change size. First, select the storage type. We want to deploy a premium SSD as a shared disk. Select a predefined disk size or manually specify the disk size in the custom disk size box. For this demo, we will use a 4GB disk size. Click on OK. Go to the Advanced tab. Select Yes for Enable Shared Disk and select the amount of max shares you want. Set the value to 2. This means two virtual machines can simultaneously access this shared disk. Click on Review plus Create. Wait for the validation check to complete. Click Create to create the new shared disk. Deployment will take a few seconds. Please wait until it's complete. The shared disk has been created successfully. Return to the Azure homepage. Under Azure Services, click on Disk. Using the same steps, let's deploy a standard SSD as a shared disk. Click on Create. Select freevm rg one resource group. Now enter a name for the disk. We will deploy this disk in East US region. For availability zone, select no infrastructure redundancy required. Click on Change Size. Select the standard SSD type and click OK. Now select a predefined disk size or manually specify the disk size. For this demo, we will use a 4GB disk size. Click OK. Go to the Advanced tab. Select Yes for Enable Shared Disk and select the amount of max shares you want. For this demo, set the max shares value to 2. 
We can attach a shared disk to up to 16 VMs in the same availability zone and each VM can mount the disk as if it were a local disk. Click Review plus Create. Wait for the validation check to complete. Click Create to create the new shared disk. Deployment will take a few seconds. Please wait until it's complete. The shared disk has been created successfully. Now let's look at the steps to share an existing disk. Return to the Azure homepage. Under Azure Services, click on Disk. For this demo, I have already created a managed data disk named TasteDisk01. We can only share an existing disk when it is unmounted. Click on the disk name that you want to share. Expand settings and click on configuration. Select yes to share the disk and select the amount of max shares you want. Set the max shares value to 2. At the top of the bar, click save to apply the changes. Wait for the confirmation notification to appear. The existing disk has now been successfully converted into a shared disk. Using the same steps, you can also deploy an ultra disk a premium SSD version 2 as a shared disk. Now let's see how we can attach the shared disk to our VMs. Return to the Azure homepage. Under Azure Services, click on Virtual Machines. As you can see, currently both VMs are T allocated. Let's start the virtual machine with the name AWS VM02. Now go to the VM where you want to attach the shared disk. Expand settings, then click on Disk. Click on Add each existing disk. You can select the LUN, we will leave it to zero. From the drop down list, select the shared disk you want to add each. Under the disk name, we can see the disk size, storage type, and most importantly, the disk shared usage. Select Shared Disk 01 and click on Apply. Wait for the confirmation notification to appear. The shared disk has now been successfully added to the VM. Click on the second VM name where you want to add is the shared disk. Expand settings, then click on disk. Click on add each existing disk. You can select the LUN, we will leave it to zero. From the drop down list, select the shared disk that we attached earlier to the first VM. Under the disk name, we can see that the disk shared usage now shows used one of two. Select shared disk 01 and click apply. Wait for the confirmation notification to appear. The shared disk has now been successfully attached to the second VM. That's all for this video on how to create a shared disk in Azure using the Azure portal. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.